Hello devs, today I'm talking about Firebase Analytics. Firebase Analytics can capture events, event names, and it shows user progress like competition levels, user research levels, course installations, and much more. It's very easy to implement, just a few steps and we'll complete it together. I created two events, Level Complete and Level Reset. For each event, I added multiple parameters to track user actions. Firebase Analytics also shows country-wise data and much more. So, let's start. First, go to the Firebase website and create an account if you don't have one. Then go to the console and create a new Firebase project. Enter your project name, click continue, read everything and click continue again. Create a new account Add your account name and click save. Next, choose your analytics location. You can choose any location. I am selecting the US, which represents the country and region of your organization. This does not affect where Google stores Firebase data. Select US, accept the terms and conditions and click create project. After a short wait, click continue. Then click Start Coding an App. This opens the Firebase Console Dash. Dashboard. Click on the Unity symbol. Now it's time to register your app. If you are registering for an Apple app, select the Apple option. Currently, I am registering an Android app, so I select that checkbox. Enter your package name. You can find it in Unity under Project Settings, Player Settings, Other Settings Package Name. Copy it and paste it into Firebase console. Adding a nickname is optional but recommended. Enter a nickname, then click register app. After this, you'll see a download button for the configuration file. This file is required to link Firebase to Unity. You can add this downloaded file anywhere inside asset folder. Open your Unity project, create a new folder inside the Assets folder and name it Firebase Files. Move the downloaded configuration file into this folder. Next, download the Firebase Unity SDK zip folder. Unzip it and import the required packages into your project. Wait for download complete and unzip folder. For this tutorial, we only need Firebase Analytics. So in Unity, go to Assets, Import Package, Custom Package, select Analytics.unity package. Click All and Import. After importing, you'll see a pop-up asking to enable analytics. Click Yes. A new Firebase folder will appear in your Assets folder with all Firebase files and versions. Now go back to the Firebase console and click Next. Setup is complete and you can continue to the console. You can also view the console using Windows, Firebase, Documentation and click Console. It will open same console dashboard. Now let's implement Firebase in Unity. Create a new empty game object and name it Firebase Analytics. Create a new script with the same name. Open the script and remove unnecessary functions. First, make it a singleton. 
create an instance. Add a private boolean variable is firebase ready defaulting to false. In the awake method, check if the instance already exists. If yes, destroy duplicates. Set the instance and use don't destroy on load. Now we need to initialize Firebase in our Unity project. Go to Google and search Firebase in Unity, then open the official Firebase website. Scroll down to step 5, where you can find the instructions to copy the Firebase initialization code. This step checks that all Firebase components are installed and ready to use. Using firebase.firebaseapp.check and fix dependencies async function, Unity verifies dependencies asynchronously and runs the result on the main thread. If everything is available, firebase.firebaseapp.default instance gives you the main app instance, which you store in a variable for use in your scripts. If dependencies are missing, an error is logged, preventing any issues when tracking events like level complete or level reset. In your script, don't forget to add this line at the top. Next, we'll create a private variable for the Firebase app in your class. Next, we will log user events. First, create a method log level complete. Pass level number and score as parameters. Check if Firebase is not ready, return. Then set is Firebase ready to true so your code knows Firebase is ready. And log the event using Firebase Analytics.log event. I recommend using lowercase names for event names like level complete. Add multiple parameters such as level number and score. Next, create a logal reset method. Pass the level number. Again, check if Firebase is ready, then log the event as level reset. Call these functions from your actual game code. For example, when a level is complete, call log level complete and pass the level number and score. For testing purpose, you set static parameters. For level reset call, log level reset with the level number Now go to File, Build Settings, select Android as the platform. Set your minimum and target SDK, configure your key store and password and build the app for testing. Currently, I am playing the second level. Also, this game is available on the Unity Asset Store. It's a high quality puzzle template, 
feel free to check it out. The link is in the description. After building and running your app, go to the Firebase console dashboard. You should see the event data. If not, wait 30 minutes. If event counts are not fetched perfectly, you can temporarily enable debug logging in your script. Set Firebase app.log level to log level.debug. Run app and play levels. Comment out debug lines for production before publishing to Google Play Store. In the Firebase console, go to Events. Still no data found, go to Real-Time Analytics. It has some data and scroll down to Events. You will see Level Complete and Level Reset events. Each event shows level numbers and scores. Finally, create a new build for Google Play Console and upload your app. Thank you for watching. If this video was helpful, please buy me a coffee. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel.